All right, guys, uh, welcome to Baseball Prodigy YouTube. We're uh, very blessed today, really unique story. I'm here with Devlin Granberg, who um, was actually, uh, is with the Boston Red Sox, was actually someone that I drafted personally uh, when I was scouting with the Red Sox. So this is really cool for me um, to be able to do this interview. But today, um, Dev has a really unique background when it comes to college recruiting. And so, um, Dev, first, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me. And then secondly, all I want you to do is really um, just share kind of your college recruiting story, what it was like each step along the way um, for the viewers. Yeah, so um, I came out of Colorado, originally from a town up in northern Colorado, um, and I joined a kind of like a fall scout team kind of um, situation down there. Um, and I got originally seen by a couple schools. It was Creighton, Duke, and Notre Dame. Uh, down there. It was at an Arizona showcase, mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then I ended up getting recruited to Creighton. Creighton was my best option. I thought that that would be a really good situation going out of high school. Um, and I ended up going to Creighton. I had, I think, 17 to 20 at-bats uh, my freshman year. Wasn't quite ready to play. Um, and then I determined that Creighton, it really wasn't the situation for me. Um, so I ended up going to junior college I went to Cisco College down mm -hmm. here uh, in Texas, just west of, west of Dallas by a little ways. And I love junior college baseball. It was one of the things where out of high school, I determined that Juco ball wasn't good baseball. There weren't, weren't that many good players out there. But when I went there, man, my eyes were just open to mm -hmm. junior college baseball. And it was some. It was one of the best years of my life for sure. And we had a great team and we went to the World Series and it was awesome. And then. Uh, while I was at Cisco, I got saw, seen by the coaches at Dallas Baptist. Okay. Um, so that was in the fall, and I committed in the fall, and DBU is one of the best places. Uh, it was one of my favorite places to be uh, for two years. And, um, yeah, so it was definitely a great journey, but every step of the way was worth it. And it was, you know, the Lord just kind of, he led me right here on purpose, and yep. it's been such a great ride ever since. So, like, going in, um, obviously, you were high academic, it sounds like, you know, some of the schools you were recruited to. Was that a real big factor for you, or were you just, like, more, hey, academics is great, I know I'm going to do well, but it's really the baseball that I'm looking at? Yeah, it was It was a definitely a mix going in. Um, Creighton was a, it was a great school, yep. um, and, and that definitely factored in, like, getting my degree, and, and being a senior sign, like, to getting a degree, it was huge for me, and it was like it was a huge part of my decision. Um, honestly, though, at DBU, it was more of I went for to DBU for the culture, right? Uh, and I know DBU is a great baseball team, and we had some really good teams while I was there, uh, really good players coming out of it. But it was more of the culture that Coach Hefner presented at DBU, and he he built where he you know, th those were the things that was lacking at Creighton. Um, it was more of like uh, he cared about who we were as men. Um, and that was like a huge thing for me. Yeah. yeah, where it wasn't necessarily like it, he wanted to make good ball players, and he does 100%. But it was more about um, creating me as a as a man. And whenever I graduated and went to real life, because that happens for all of us, right. like who you are at that stage. Um, so that's more why I chose DBU over some other schools. And then, so obviously we got to talk about the pro side, mm -hmm. um, making that transition from DBU into the pro side. One, what was it like when you got the call from from me? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was from you. Yeah, yeah. How was that for you? Like, just uh, you know, just you're realizing your childhood dream. I'm taking that step mm -hmm. into pro ball. How did yeah. that feel? Oh man, it was it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's definitely a surreal moment for sure, um, and you kind of just. You know, you get the call and then you hear your name finally. It's something that going out of high school, I never had really thought thought of, honestly. Yep. Like I didn't really have a chance to get, you know, draft out of high school. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call myself a prospect by any means. Um, it was definitely one of those stories where I just kind of put my nose to the grindstone and worked. And I was blessed to have a couple really good opportunities and a great coach in Hefner and Coach White down at Cisco. Um, I definitely, even at a junior college, I wasn't really expecting it drafted. And then all of a sudden at a DBU, um, you know, some things clicked and that, that call definitely was surreal. It was an awesome moment. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah. So as you can see, it's kind of the neat part about baseball is you stay connected and Dev and I have stayed connected through his career and he's actually just got done throwing some batting practice to him and he cool. hit some balls some a long way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So... 
But um, Deb, thank you very much for doing this. Um, guys, you know this with Baseball Prodigy, we're trying to really elevate the game. We're trying to help you as the client, as the parent, as the young player coming up, realizing that there are so many different paths to getting where you want to be with college baseball. And then like in Dev's situation, potentially beyond, right? And so he's still on that journey in the professional baseball ranks. And, uh, you know, he knows this because I've told him, but like, hands down, this is one of the best pure hitters in professional baseball, I promise you. So um, whether it's the Red Sox or someone else down the road, like you're gonna hear this name for a long time. So thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.